Good morning everyone, it's Saturday morning and um, I broke my foot this morning April Fools <laughs> Got you didn't I? Anyway um, I always had fun with that April Fool's Day. I don't know where that originated from. Today I want to read through a very well-known psalm. Psalm 91, I've read it many times, but a friend of mine says he likes to read it every day. And I can understand why he would like to read it every day. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If we're under the shadow of the Almighty, we don't have any worries. We don't have anything to worry about. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. That's what Peter said. He said, where else do we have to go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Sometimes it seems like we have a lot of noisome pestilence in our lives and we have to ask ourselves will we be ever delivered from this well we are promised in God's word that he will deliver us from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler we have the word of God we have Christ himself's words I'm the great shepherd of the sheep and he is our shield thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day there's a lot of terror in our world is there not Bush was going to have a war on terror. There's only one person that can deliver us from the terror, and that is Jesus Christ. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy sight, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. I got an email from a person today lamb blasting me, <laughs> telling me I needed not, not to be teaching the Bible. I need to stop teaching the Bible. You know, and said some very disparaging things about me. He's done it for the last five years you know why would I think he would change nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday you ought to see the vile filth he posts on his website on BitChute. it's amazing Thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. You know, when we see all the evil around us, and all the wickedness around us, we need to look up. For our redemption draweth nigh. 
because thou hast made the Lord which is my refu refuge even the most high thy habitation There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. What a promise. What a promise. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Angels are watching over God's people. He says he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Isn't that what it says? Thou shalt tread upon the lion, wait a minute, they shall bear thee up in their hands unless thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, not because anything I've done, because of what he's done, he has set his love upon me. He predestinated us unto adoption. You know? He has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him with, will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Well, so far I've lived 69 years. And I must say it was God and God alone who showed me his salvation. You know, that was the only thing revealed to me God's grace was by him showing me his salvation and so this is a great psalm I hope this has been a blessing to you this morning so when others lamb blast you and ridicule you and malign you look to Christ who's the author and finisher of our faith may the good Lord be with you this weekend is my prayer God bless